So this is Minnie. This is my eldest female. What are you doing? She's pushing my hand. She's like, stop filming. <laughs> Don't film me, I'm not ready. <laughs> Aren't you? You're like, stop filming. She's got her eyes shut. She's attempting to sleep. But yeah, she's my eldest female. Aren't you? Yeah, you're my old lady. Yeah. My little grandma, a group. Hey, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, don't bite me now, will ya? <laughs> don't eat me. She's very, very cute. Hmm? Being nosy. Hmm? Being nosy. Yeah. She is. Sort of, well, she's been struggling with um, all the builders and stuff. It's been very stressful, isn't it? Very stressful, yeah. Um, she, yeah, she's really struggled. I mean, she's lived literally on the table for four months. However, this week... She decided that she was going to go in the kitchen. She hit, hitched a ride with me on my chair. And, uh, didn't you? Hitching a ride in the kitchen. Eh? Hitching a ride. I'm gone. <laughs> I had to stop it a minute. My son was in his uh, his night stuff going to bed. And uh, he didn't know I was filming. <laughs> I thought it's just easier just to stop the filming for a minute. Because um, he's not one for being on camera. And also of how he was dressed, really, in his boxes and stuff. It's, yeah. Yeah, he's not a young lad, he's in his tw oh, so he's not a young lad, makes me sound like an oldie. Um, he's 20, so it's all about privacy and boundaries and all that stuff, but anyway, yeah, um, it was very strange because after we had um Alfie pass away, um, she randomly decided that she was getting up on my chair. And she was coming with me in the kitchen. And then there uh, she stayed on the windowsill. She decided, that's it, I'm I'm staying here. I tried bringing her down. She weren't having it. So I thought, right, stay there then. Um, and her Cosmo was sat in the hallway waiting for her to come out to jump on her and stuff and scare the life out of her. But, um, hey. But I thought, well, they're going to have to sort of work it out. I mean, what do they do when I go out and I'm not here, you know, to sort them out? Um, she didn't do too badly. I mean, she managed to come back without World War Three breaking out. Eh? Didn't you? So it was very, very cute. Um... Yeah. Um, today has been a bit of them chase. Well, Cosmo chasing her more than um, than Al uh, than Percy. I was going to say Alfie then. Um, there's been a couple of times where I've seen one of the cats, and I've said Alfie, and I'm thinking, no, 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 it's not Alfie because Alfie's. No longer here. Um, they are a bit more chill. Um, you know, I've not had the door shut for like weeks now. Um, it's only been where I've had a decorator come in and I know that they're coming. But um, I'll flip this to moved. Oh, and she's back. <laughs> I think it was just a trick to stop me filming. Um... Yeah, 
she's yeah i've not really been shutting the door on the cats because i thought what's the point these guys have virtually finished doing that are employed um by this particular company called broad oak um the electrician hasn't returned nobody's returned my calls i did phone yesterday and the boss was supposed to call me and didn't and then what are you doing you fidget bum huh? and i thought i got fed up with phoning them and i thought do you know what i'm sick of this so i didn't i didn't phone i thought maybe tomorrow i'll call them and see what the hell's going on because i just want um Instead of the bottom one being blocked off, um, the electrician's just like put an additional one on top of the other one, but left it unblocked off, which doesn't make any sense. And he's done that in a couple of rooms. He's done it in my son's room and he's done it in my room. And I've needed the, the actual plug to be sockets to be somewhere else in both rooms. So I'm not happy about that. Um, and I thought, well, perhaps the guy will come back today and finish him off, but he didn't. So I'm gonna to have to get in touch with him tomorrow and say, what? Well, look what's going on. I've had no phone calls back, I've phoned twice now. And every time nobody's got back to me, nobody has let me know what's happening, apart from the OT that's like, oh, I've told them that this is what's got to be done. and. But it's not good enough and it's like she seems to disappear off the face of the earth most of the time you know she's not keen to press on and see how things are going and come i'll come and have a look and chasing things up she hasn't done any of that and it's like she waiting for me to suddenly not bother and i'm like no i want it finishing it's like my kitchen has got a section that needs dropping down that still hasn't been done that'll be done by somebody else there's big pieces of wood that aren't any use unless they're going to actually do something with them, but they're all stood in my kitchen. I've got a tub of God knows what it is. I think it's filler for the tiles. That's all there. Um, yeah. So it's a bit of a piss take, really. It just it really infuriates me at the moment. Um... You know, it's like a dumping ground and I've left everything because I thought, well, I could chuck it outside. But then I thought, why should I struggle getting it outside for them to take away when they may be able to use it for something else? I'm such a bugger for recycling, I tell you. My cleaning lady's had a couple of bits of water. I said, take it, have it. If there's anything you want, take it. So she has. But I am. I'm really fed up now um, because it's just like four and a half months and still we're not finished. You know, time's tick ticking by and we're creeping, you know, that little bit, another month closer to the, dare I say it, the big C word, Christmas. And I just know that this will be finished by Christmas. It's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I just want it finished now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, many started coming down onto the floor a little bit, eating food, the biscuits and having a drink of water, even though she's got food and water by her bed on the table, just in case she doesn't want to come down and feels trapped on the floor or harassed. Um, she has got a bit of a urine infection. I'm um, trying to sort it out. Um... I want to get the pets at home. I've got some um, anti stuff that's like cystitis. Um, so I'm going to get some of that, I think. And then um, I can try treat her with it and see how we get on. Um, just until I can afford to just get her. Because I need to get Alfie paid off at the vets. I don't know how much that's going to be. I'm going to have to phone them up tomorrow to get... Um, a price so I know in my head exactly how much I've got to part with next week for the bill because um, they've been very good you know 
one of the vats I used to be at, they would have said, oh, we want X amount of money before we can put him or her to sleep. And, you know, and I've had that before and it's horrible. And they make you feel like you've got no money. Well, I didn't. And, you know, so that's that. I have got um, a card come from the vets. I'm going, men. You're going to have to move. Let me see if I can get it from here. I should be able to because I put it up. Don't you touch. Oh. Right, I'll show you. So that's the card that come from the vets. I thought that was the poor prince of Alfie's. And then I thought, well, some of these are a bit small. Um, they're too small to be his card. And then I got this down earlier on and I had a look and it's like, oh, it's an actual card that's, you know, because I thought I remember this. Um, so there we go, Alfie's paw prints and they're in here. And there we are. So I could put them in a frame or something. Um, because I couldn't afford to get the... Um, the scatter tube, the cost of cremation, and then the, having the ashes back um, and put into a, a very nice cardboard tube with, like, pressed flowers on it. Um that so um the prices have gone up and whereas just having a paying for them to cremate his ashes uh, cremate him and sorry minnie's making a deciding to walk backwards and forwards all over my knees will you stop enough now it's becoming too much on my legs oh sometimes she just becomes unbearable She's very sweet, but there's times where I just can't cope. It's like standing on rocks, that kind of pain, but very sharp and very painful, and uh, it's horrible. Um, not that any pain is nice, but you've got various, you know, levels of pain, and oh, my God. And then you've got claws as well with that, and she's quite a weighty cat on my joints. It hurts. Um... So, yeah, so anyway, um, I've lost my train of thought now. But, yeah, um, so that's the card that I've had sent and his paw prints. But, yeah, um, the scatter tube was just too expensive. A lot more of, an, of money than I planned. And when they said how much, I thought, oh, my God, I can't afford that. And I said, I just wanted him to be at peace. I'll show you if I can. Hopefully this won't. But stay there. This is all my rainbow bridge area. Um, and I've got quite a collection of them up there. The scatter tube is at the back there with the, um, the green so it's like a forest scene. It's very peaceful, pretty flowers on it and stuff. Um, and all these ornaments, these ones here, the, um, they're called quail, that's it, quail cats. Um, every time I had a cat, I got a quail cat equivalent of their, you know, of their name. And a lot of them have got the name written underneath of the cat, but I've got it on Sharpie. Um, and now it's like the ones that I've got still here. I need to get, um, so I've got up the top there, I've got a Luna. I've got, oh, I've got to move one of those because they were both the two there, the two. Elsa Alfie. I've got a mini. And 
I still haven't altered some of these. I've not been able to get to them. I've got a gizmo one. Um, I just need to sort out. Um, I've got a Cosmo. I just need to get um, a Percy. I need to get a Sphinx one if I can. But I need to get in here and have a, a bit of a get them all out and maybe put instead of all on one shelf, one and two shelves now. And then have the top one for the ones that are currently still here. It's how I've always done this and I just think it's just nice and I want to get some more um like angel things, you know, in here. So it, it makes it like a memorial thing. It's just how I've always done it. I mean, I've got one of my cats that's buried at my old address because, well, I didn't think I'd be moving, but I couldn't afford to get her cremated. Um, so she came home with me. Um, and then with Alfie, I couldn't afford to get him cremated and put into one of the caskets so my plan was and I, I would have brought him home had I have um yeah had I have um been with an enclosed garden at home I would have took him home with me and put him in the garden if need be but I just couldn't afford it to have the um the tube or anything like that um so I just had the paw prints done as a memorial of him. And at the end of the day, I just wanted him at peace, out of pain and suffering. So that's what we did. At least she's using the tray. That's something else as well. Where are you going now? Yeah, that's something else as well. Many had... Um, with anxiety from all these builders, she'd been toileting not where she's supposed to be. Um, and that's a common thing with stress and anxiety. And a couple of them had had issues um, with various weird things, over, over cleaning themselves and all that sort of stuff and um, making ball patches and that kind of thing. Um, weird things that you know is down to stress so I'm hoping once these are finished that there'll be a bit of a break and I can have a bit of time and sort the cats out and get some normal normality back but I want to get Minnie in at the vets for a check up um, Elsa in for a check up because of her being so weird and I think it's a thyroid maybe on its on the you know a bit wonky. Um but I just want to check up with her anyway, just to make sure she's alright after Alfie having the heart issues, just in case there's anything that's there for her as well. Um then Gizmo. And Cosmo. And then I'll have Percy and Luna. And that'll be that then done. I've just got so behind with that appointment because of um, these builders and not going anywhere and not doing anything. It's been really, really stressful all round. Not just for me, but for them as well. So, um, hmm. So I just want to get these cuts sorted out as best as possible. And then I'm going to get them some new things. Get them some new towers and new beds and things like that. And get my room um, sorted out. But I also got to sort out money for the next motability car as well. Get that sorted out. It's all money at the minute. It's so stressful. So... Uh, yeah, 
I thought I'd do a little bit of an update on how she's, how many's getting on with stress and everything, because it is really, really hard. And people never think when you've got builders over how stressful it is on your animals. You know, strange people coming in, making noise and bangs and yeah, and the after effects. So anyhow, right, I'm gonna love and leave because it's getting on. I want to get some sleep. <gasps> So, thanks for watching, and until next time, maybe tomorrow will be a better day um, with regards to the electrics and things. We see. We see. I'm not holding my breath. Right, catch you later. Bye.